The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner is a complex, multi-layered novel that captures the gradual disintegration of the Combson family, an aristocratic Southern family struggling with personal and societal decline in the early 20th century. The story is presented through four distinct sections, each marked by a unique perspective and narrative style, which explore the lives of the Combson siblings, Benji, Quinton, Jason, and Caddy, and the challenges they face individually and collectively. The novel opens with the fragmented and chaotic thoughts of Benji, the youngest sibling, who has an intellectual disability. Benji's narrative offers a disjointed, impressionistic view of the Combson family, marked by his simple, sensory-driven memories. He is deeply attached to his sister Caddy, whose warmth and nurturing nature offer him comfort amid the instability around him. Caddy, however, is portrayed as the family's tragic figure, her defiance of social norms and eventual fall from grace signify the erosion of the family's honor. Her perceived betrayal of the family's moral code, having a child out of wedlock, becomes a central source of anguish and shame for the Combsons. The second section is narrated by Quinton, the eldest son, whose narrative reflects a profound struggle with his own identity, family expectations, and Southern ideals of honor and purity. Quinton is haunted by his obsession with Caddy's lost innocence and his inability to reconcile his ideals with the reality of her choices. This conflict drives him to a mental breakdown and ultimately to suicide as he finds himself trapped between his devotion to his family's values and his disillusionment with life. His suicide underscores the novel's themes of despair and the oppressive weight of familial and cultural expectations. In the third section, the story shifts to Jason the bitter and selfish third sibling, whose narrative voice is marked by anger, cynicism, and cruelty. Unlike Benji and Quinton, who are haunted by their love for Caddy, Jason despises her and blames her for the family's decline. His relentless pursuit of financial gain and disregard for his family's well-being highlight his moral corruption and the extent of his resentment. Jason's cruelty, particularly toward Caddy's illegitimate daughter, Miss Quinton, reflects the novel's exploration of greed and the breakdown of family loyalty. The final section is narrated in the third person, providing an objective view of the family's last days. It focuses on the Combson household from the perspective of Diley, the Combson's long-serving black servant, who has remained loyal to the family through their years of decline. Diley's resilience, Compassion and unshakable faith stand in stark contrast to the despair and decay that characterize the Combson family. She becomes the moral center of the novel, embodying strength, continuity, and endurance amidst the family's collapse. Through the disparate perspectives of its characters, the sound and the fury paints a portrait of a family torn apart by pride, guilt, and unfulfilled expectations, while examining themes of time, memory, and the search for identity. Faulkner's use of stream-of-consciousness narration, fragmented timelines, and varying narrative voices captures the depth of each character's psychological turmoil and creates a haunting meditation on the complexities of family, tradition, and loss. The novel's title, taken from a line in Shakespeare's Macbeth, reflects its portrayal of life as a chaotic, tragic, and ultimately meaningless journey, encapsulating the doomed fate of the Combson family and the haunting echoes of a once-proud lineage succumbing to inevitable decay.